Welcome to the City Show. Pat O'Malley here. You there? That's why we do this show. To entertain you, inform you, maybe educate you a little bit. It is hot as hell outside today, and it's going to be that way all through the week. Uh, summer is here, and it's here with vengeance. I mean, we're, we're going to be close to the 100s today, and all through the week on Thursday, we'll get some uh, torrential rain out here. They're talking two or three inches of rain, so we'll be fairly wet. But it is summer. Bring it on. It is, you know, it, it's nice to be able to go outside without a mask on, uh, to go into a store without a mask on. You know, it, it, it feels good. I'm not even complaining that much about the heat. Just I'm wearing short sleeve shirts because it is super hot. And also when we're taping, the reason we're going to hiatus, for that matter, this is probably the last city show of the season until we come back in September because it's hard to tape these shows when we have to run the air conditioning. You hear the air conditioners. That's why most shows whether it's small operations like me or major networks, they go on a hiatus, probably for the same reasons. It's the air conditioning. You, it just makes too much noise in the studio. On the bottom of the screen, see all the things that are floating by there. Like us on Facebook. Love us on uh, YouTube. Um, follow us on Twitter. Don't forget the Hudson County uh, Commissioners. They got an Instagram and a Twitter. You can start following those guys, too. When we come back in September, we'll probably have that on the screen. We're involved a little bit with doing their social media, so we take a bow for the activity on those sites. Remember, if you need to get in touch with me, hit, hit me with the Twitter or the email. If you got an issue with the county or the municipalities or you got some consumer issues, the kind of thing we enjoy doing. We like getting involved with the consumers. Issues, you've been screwed over by some sort of a business or something, give us a call because those cameras and TV scare the hell out of those people. So we're pretty successful with that. All right, we're going to break for commercial and we'll come back and we'll get this show rolling. You're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, Jersey City, Hudson County's only monument maker, serving all faiths and cemeteries. Design studio and launch inventory on site. Cemetery inscriptions and custom orders welcome. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, just south of Seacorkers Road. Craftsmanship that will last for all eternity. Burns Brothers, Jersey City, Albert H. Hopper, North Arlington. Visit us on the net. Consumer Carpets, 3408 Kennedy Boulevard in the Jersey City Heights, your one-stop store for residential and commercial floor treatments. Carpeting, linoleum, tiles, laminates, hardwood floors, area rugs, remnants, all major brands, all in stock. Free estimates, same-day installation. Consumer Carpets, it's savings, selection, installation. Credit cards and debit cards accepted. Financing available. Consumer Carpets, price to fit your budget, installation to fit your schedule. On the net at ConsumerCarpets.com. Consumer Carpets, Jersey City, 201-792-2712. Jersey City Medical Center is healing, enhancing, and investing in Hudson County. Because your heart doesn't beat just for you. So get it checked. When your bones are healthy, it lifts us all. We're delivering joy daily in our Lord Abbott Maternity Wing and providing New Jersey's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. We'll continue building our medical network and taking every precaution for your safety so that we can all be healthy together. We're back. City Show here. Pat O'Melia here. You there? We're going to be talking about water bills are out, and they, they now include the uh, trash and recycling fee. We're going to talk about empowering the PD. I'm supporting your cops. We're going to get into that. A uh, political power meeting was held last week in Hudson County, and we're going to do some miscellaneous quick hits. First off, the water bills are coming out, and people are getting some sticker shock, because not only are you getting your water bill, now you're paying for trash and recycling pickup. Uh, on this website next door that I subscribed to, there was a woman who uh, got a bill. It was $430, now includes the trash and recycling, and she had a problem with that bill, as we all have a problem with that bill. But remember, Mayor Fulop reduced your tax bite this year by $1,000. I had actually texted this comment to Mayor Fulop, and he said, you know, I'm doing all I can here. I reduced the uh, price by $1,000 this year. And I said, yes, you did, but we're not getting that message out. So when I started writing for the show today, I actually saw it yesterday, and I just do uh, add-ons uh, in the morning here before taping, I went back to this comment. There were 37 comments on this posting. Not one of those 37 realized there was a tax deduction this year, tax reduction this year in your property taxes to tune to about a thousand dollars. That will cover the uh, additional trash and recycling. 
it depends how you want it. You know, what do you want to cover? The school or the taxes? You know, Fulop can't do everything. Uh, a lot of the comments on the site was, you know, what do we pay our taxes for? That's a good question. Uh, welcome to the city of predatory government. I'm moving to Bayonne. Now, a lot of the comments I was surprised came from Van Voss, uh, Hamilton Park, Paulus Hook. Usually those people are pretty much in tune down there. Uh, they, again, are forgetting that there was a $1,000 reduction in your property taxes this year as uh, Mayor Phillips' way of trying to cover that expense. But unfortunately, he can't control, control everything. In the uh, comment with the $430 bill, uh, the young lady says, my taxes went up. I'm sure they did. They didn't go up municipally. They went up from the school. Because Phillips has held the line pretty much on taxes all the way through his uh, term as mayor here in Jersey City. I'll say about, I think in the little research I did, about 50% of the municipalities in the state of New Jersey charge for trash pickups. And that was new to me in Jersey City. You know, I'm like, I'm born and raised here. We never paid for that, and now we are. I do a little uh, research. Turns out it's pretty much 50% on municipalities that actually charge the residents. You know, we, we have been spoiled here in Hudson County all those years. But what really changed things with trash and recycling is the market, the bottom fell out of the market for recycling and trash about three years ago. Years ago, I did a lot of public relations work for a waste transfer station here in Jersey City. And they would, you know, they, they would bid on the trash for Jersey City, Hudson County, various municipalities. Norman Guerra with the HCIA, uh, the Improvement uh, Authority here in Hudson County, used to solicit the bids. And I mean, the municipalities were getting offered millions of dollars for their garbage and recycling. There was a big market for that. And the big market was China. China was taking anything. Anything we were throwing out, China was taking. We were loading it up in containers, sending it overseas, and getting good money from China for that. Then the market dropped. The bottom fell out about three years ago. China's still taking it, but they want it pristine clean, which is almost impossible when you, you know, when you're throwing out garbage. If, if you threw out a newspaper and had some milk on it or spilled coffee, they don't want that. So it's almost impossible to accommodate China's request on the recycling. So the, the, the bottom of the market fell out. What was one time an economic, an economic generator for municipalities, now is a huge expense, where Jersey City would get millions of dollars uh, a year for its garbage, now it's paying millions of dollars. Now, could Jersey City have done a better job with the contract we just issued? Yes, we should have went, we should have worked harder. We, we have a waste transfer station here in Jersey City. We should have worked with that transfer station. We should have worked the entire system for the betterment. Maybe we go back and do what we used to do, pick up our own garbage. Union City does it. North Bergen does it. We could do that. Here's an ideal time for shared services. And maybe you do something with Bayonne in Jersey City. Bayonne just gave out a contract for like four or five million dollars for trash pickup. We just did the same thing here. Maybe between the two entities, we could have started our own uh, garbage pickup. There are other ways to do it than the way we did. But this was the only avenue open to Jersey City now. But these are the things that Mayor Phillips got to look at going forward. How do we handle the trash? How do we handle water? Do we still want to have Suez water? Should we go back to the days back in the 90s? We had our own water department. Brett Schindler sold that out. We had a full of budget gap. Boom, the MUA was developed. All right, we're going to break for commercial. You're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. Pen and Pencil Properties, Jersey City. Shape in the workplace with state-of-the-art office spaces that address your company desires. Building residences that define your home environment, adjacent to all modes of transportation with on-site parking available. The right address, the right lease. Call 201-521-9000 or visit online at penandpencilproperties.com. Pen and Pencil Properties, building Jersey City for everyone. Jersey City Medical Center has a passion for heart health. We're Hudson County's only full-service heart hospital with innovative technologies and premier cardiovascular physicians, a partnership with Rutgers Health, the latest technology and medical advancements, and nationally renowned care for every heart in every community. Whoever your heart beats for, our hearts beat for you. 
Jersey City Medical Center. A brand new truck isn't just a brand new truck. When it's tough enough to have best-in-class available payload and smart enough to know that a cab can also be an office, a truck equipped with best-in-class available towing that asks, why can't all that power power more than just this truck? No, your brand new truck isn't just a brand new truck when it's the all-new F-150. Tough this smart can only be called F-150. We're back. City Show here, Pat O'Melia, you there, resident of the municipality that we try to uh, update you on. Empowering the PD, supporting your local police. I think we all now agree that we should support our police. You know, the, the, the madness is done, you know, you look at crime. And there were two incidents in the last week or so, I'm gonna pick on New York City here, but every major city has the same problem a complete rack, lack of respect for human life. People who have not a second thought in their head about committing a crime because they're not worried about anything. We got these bail reforms. We've changed the laws so much that you know, you're caught with a gun, you're out, you're out in, in hours or in a day or so. Now, we had two incidents here recently. I support our police here. Uh, I'm pro-cop. Uh, in New York City, John, roll the, uh, the footage here. Yeah, one of the one of the most heinous things. Here's a guy. There's two gangbangers shooting at each other. Those are two little kids. This guy is unloading his clip on this guy in the red, and there are two children there. Not only you you don't respect life, you don't even respect little kids. What the kind of human does this? Now they caught this guy, and you know what? They're always going to catch these guys because these are friggin' idiots. We're not talking master criminals here. These are friggin' idiots. Somebody with no respect. You see two kids there, and you're still empty in your clip. And then you had another one, the crossroads of the world, Times Square. You maybe you need to bring Rudy Giuliani back. This is Times Square. Look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Just shooting. And one guy got hit. He got shot in the back. But fortunately, not seriously, it was a ricochet. Uh, I think they were from South Carolina or something like that, and his brother-in-law pulled the bullet out. Are you serious? Now, if you recognize this individual, get in touch with Crime Stoppers. It is, it is it's almost amazing to me that these individuals who are doing this have zero respect for anything. Whether it's human life, whether it's kids, themselves, it doesn't matter. I, I can't understand the mindset of these individuals now. It's, it, you know, you're just shooting up a guy who's with two little kids. You don't care if you're shooting the two little kids. So uh, we have to stop the madness, you know, and I, I think we have, you know, the, the defund the police. Uh, the guy, Eric Adams, who is probably the next mayor of New York City, I'm sure he will win the primary. They got a different way of voting up there, uh, rank voting. I'll be interested when it's all said and done. The only problem with the rank voting, we won't know until like the middle of July. He won, and he came back from the back of the pack. He had the Yang guy was uh, uh, leading most of the way on the platform of anti-crime. He was going to make the streets safe. He was going to make New York City safe. How is he going to do that? With the police. We have to embrace the police. They are our first line of defense for quality of life. You have the right to feel safe in your home in your neighborhood, in your city. It is a damn shame when you have to worry about walking to the store. And this is Jersey City, this is New York City, this is Chicago, you know, this is my home, Jersey City, that people up on, you know, the hilltop there, over on um, Communal Park Avenue, there was a, a shooting, you know, they unloaded um, guns in a car, killed a few people. Uh, where the residents said, you know, we're afraid to go out at night to go up to the store to get, you know, vegetables or fruit because of the constant crime. And the problem with this type of crime that is so different from the crime for, say, 10, 20 years ago, is there, there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no respect for human life and there's no respect for law enforcement. They don't care if the cops are down the street. They don't care if the cops are looking at them. We have so disrespected the PD that the bad guys don't respect the PD. They, they, there's no fear, that's for damn sure. 
So the only way you're going to change that if we embrace the police. And I know there are some cops that have gone, you know, like what happened to George Floyd, but those are far and in between. In every profession, there are some rogue people, there are some bad apples, there are bad doctors, there are bad lawyers, there are bad accountants, there are bad teachers in every profession. And there's certainly there are some in law enforcement, but they're so far and in between. You know, and you talk about, well, there was a shooting, a cop involved shooting. You know how rare that is compared to the regular shootings that we have? I mean, it's like one to a thousand. We need to start respecting the police. We need to start supporting our police. But that's the only way we're going to be able to be safe at home. You should be safe in your home, on your porch, going to the store, going to work, going to see a play in New York, or going to downtown Jersey City. You have the right to be safe. All right, you're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. At the Regional Hospital, we promise to be prepared for your emergency. We promise to provide world-class robotic surgical care. We promise to treat you like family. To provide accurate diagnostic care. To provide the most innovative orthopedic care at your doorsteps. We promise to treat your baby like our own. To never stop investing in the best of spinal care. To be with you every step of the way. Here at Hudson Regional Hospital, we promise to take care of our community. Newport, the luxury waterfront community on the Hudson River, offers a quality of life you deserve in 10 high-rise rental towers with amenities such as the on-site Newport Path Subway, light rail and ferry service, Newport Town Square, three playgrounds, dog run, upscale restaurants, retail giants like Sears, JCPenney, Macy's, and Target. Morton Williams Supermarket is just outside your front door. A health and fitness club, spa, skating rink, and medical facilities are also on site. NewportNJ.com Enjoy the New York skyline from Newport Town Square. Manhattan is just one path stop away or quick ride through the Holland Tunnel. Nursery and private elementary schools all on site. 12 screen movie theater at the Newport Center Mall. Want to visit Newport? Stay at the Western or Marriott Hotel. Go to NewportNJ.com for details. Newport has luxurious towers, great restaurants, shopping, New York skyline views, schools, playgrounds, a marina and yacht club, gym, spa, fine wine, fine living. It's incredible. It's you. NewportNJ.com. Newport. Live like you want. I've got cancer. We've got the highest level of cancer care. The latest clinical trials. Researchers working to find a cure. And there's navigators to guide you every step of the way. At New Jersey's only NCI-designated Comprehensive Cancer Center, your safety has always been our top priority. I've got cancer, but I also have peace of mind. Jersey City Medical Center and Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. Let's beat cancer together. We're back. You're watching The City Show. Pat O'Melia here. There was a political power meeting held in Hudson County last week where the political powerhouse from South Jersey, George Norcross, I happen to like George, I like a lot of the things he's done, uh, paid a visit to Hudson County and called a meeting with all the state representatives, the state senators and the assembly people, to meet and discuss the governor's uh, election, the race for governor, in 2025. Mm -hmm. No, not the one going on now, the one after Murphy, second term, if he wins. We're looking, we're looking way down the road there. We're looking at 2025. Mr. Norcross, would like everybody to get behind Steve Sweeney, who is the Senate president. I like Steve Sweeney. And I dealt with Steve Sweeney on some issues. Uh, he's a political powerhouse, great guy, a regular kind of guy. He's a guy you'd have a beer with, uh, have a blimpy with. You know, he's, he's, he's on anyone's level. You know, he's, he's never above anyone. He's on everyone's level. Great guy. And where it is in this meeting, they want all the Hudson County people to get behind the effort to get Sweeney elected for governor, again, in 2025. But, you know, why bring all these state reps together now? Who's going to be still a state rep in 2025? I, I think I would have held off on that because all you did was ruffle some feathers in Hudson County. You know, just ask Nick Shavalotti if you're going to be a state rep in 2025. You don't know who gets the line, you know, how things change. Elections are funny. That's why we have them. 
and I, really no predicting, even though in Hudson County, if you get that line and the nod from the HCDO, eh, there's a really good chance you win. The only time really if, he, if you're running for mayor and there's some real opposition. Why meet in Hudson County? Why not have a phone conference call or a Zoom call with all these people? Why does George Norcross come all the way up to Hudson County from Camden? He's obviously sending a message. And he's sending that message to none other than the mayor of Jersey City, Stephen Fulop, not to run. Because he's getting everybody behind Sweeney. Forget about it, there might be a Republican you know, usually what happens with the governor's race, you get a Democrat and then two terms of Republicans. Murphy's about to break that. But I think if you look back from Florio on, it was like one and done, one and done, the Accords on, one and done, McGreevy, one and done. And then you had Christy Todd Whitman, Chris Christie, of course. Um, I'd, I'd be worried about all the political figures instead of just Fuller. But you know, there's a good reason to be weary of Steve Fulop. Now, I, you know, I, I text or talk with Fulop quite often. He has expressed no desire to me anyway about possibly running for governor in 2025. You know, would he be a good candidate? Sure. Now, there was a time back in 2016 that Mayor Fulop was kicking the tires on running for governor, and eventually uh, so was Steve Sweeney, and both of those guys uh, decided against it. Um, it actually, it was said that Nor uh, George Norcross actually told the various state representatives, which was pretty much everybody was in attendance with the exception of Nicholas Sacco, who was attending school graduations, uh, who was a state senator from North Bergen. Uh, supposedly, Norcross said, don't bother with Fulop. If he runs, he's not going to finish any better than fourth or fifth. And I found that odd. Well, I started comparing Mayor Fulop of 2021 to the mayor full up of 2016. And you know what? He's got a better chance now. And then we're, we're looking at 2025, by the way, but just comparing Mayor Fulop to the 2016 Steve Fulop to the 2021. He checks off a lot of boxes now that he couldn't back in 2016. First off, and this is real important when you're running for election, he's a family guy now. In 2016, he wasn't, he was single. Now, you know, fast forward four years, married, owns a home in Jersey City, they got two kids, family guy, got a son and a daughter, family guy. That gets you votes. It's got a track record now, pretty sizable track record of running a major city. There's a reason Jersey City is looked at now as the number one city in the state of New Jersey. And that reason, a lot of that, Mayor Fuller. Uh, he's held the taxes pretty much in check for the last eight years. You know, it recently went up 2%. That's not bad when you consider there was no tax increases for quite a while. Uh, the main affordable housing guy, he's constantly trying to do than that. He's rebuilding the PD. You know, he, he's more of a formidable candidate now than he was in 2016. So that may be why George Norcross is trying to get all the support now behind Sweeney before Fulop, maybe he does decide to run for governor in a few years. You're watching The City Show. I'll be right back. Good Friends Self Storage in North Bergen, New Jersey is a fully climate controlled facility equipped with state of the art security, packing supplies, a refer friend program, and multiple loading docks convenient for commercial use. Located just off of Route 3 at 4301 Tunnelly Avenue, Route 1 and 9. Call 201 867-2444 or visit us on the web today. Good friend self-storage. Let us be your good friend. Jersey City Medical Center is healing, enhancing, and investing in Hudson County because your heart doesn't beat just for you. So get it checked. When your bones are healthy, it lifts us all. We're delivering joy daily in our Lord Abbott Maternity Wing and providing New Jersey's only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center. We'll continue building our medical network and taking every precaution for your safety so that we can all be healthy together. We're back, City Show here, you there. Hopefully you got your air conditioning on. We do not in the studio right now, or as it affects our audio. Talk about a solution looking for a problem. The Jersey City Board of Education, in all their 
wonderment. <laughs> Uh, is now looking at McNair High School and Infinity High Schools here in Jersey City, both renowned, especially McNair. McNair is renowned nationally. I think they're, they're in the top 100 high schools nationally. McNair, academic. They, you know, they, they, tremendous high school. My oldest daughter graduated from McNair. She was in the first graduating class. Um, the Board of Education is thinking about changing the admission requirements for McNair to make it more inclusive. They're talking about social economics, that sort of thing. You know, when something isn't broke, don't fix it. This school works. It is renowned. It is recognized. It's one of the top high schools in the United States. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You got a lot of things you need to fix, Board of Education in Jersey City. This ain't one of them. And I'm even using bad English. <laughs> this ain't one of them. Go work on the real problems facing the Board of Education and the residents here of Jersey City. And actually one of the main problems is the Board of Education here in Jersey City. Uh, can they solve any problems? I doubt it. All they know how to do is tax. Yeah, there is a tremendous absence of management and leadership when it comes to the Jersey City Board of Education. Papadou, the museum. Yeah, that's, that's you no, know, actually, somebody mentioned that looks like the Wright Twix factory also, kind of does. There's a lot of anti-museum people running around here in Jersey City about the expense of bringing Papadou here to Jersey City from France. For that matter, there's a smaller version of the Statue of Liberty coming from France. I think it's going to be here just before the 4th of July. Uh, I think it was the, the original scale scale model of the Statue of Liberty. So it's going to make a little tour here of the United States. The state of New Jersey's budget allocated $24 million for Papadou. So now it's not looking too bad to Jersey City. Now, like, we're coming up with the $24 million. It's coming out of the state. But in the long run, we do because you pay state taxes. But at least we're getting a good chunk of that state budget for Pompadour. So the 10 to $30 million in renovations got that covered. Murphy handled that for us. So good job by Murphy. For that matter, um, North Bergen got $10 million to, um, for their schools. They're going to use that to purchase, I believe, the old high-tech high school on Tunley Avenue. So that budget is working. For the people of Hudson County, I don't know when we're going to pay it off, all these money that we borrowed, but that's a whole other thing. We got the money for Papa Doe. The Gateway Tunnel may begin next year. It's long overdue. I, I'm, I, we definitely got to get a tunnel going there. I go back to the days of the Ark Tunnel when Christie was here. The only reason we don't have a tunnel going over to New York now is because New Jersey, with the Ark Tunnel, we were going to be left holding the bag for any cost overruns for that project. And oh, were there going to be cost overruns in that project? Jersey would have been holding the bag for billions of dollars for the Ark Tunnel. That's why Christie stopped it. And you know, when all this talk about the gateway, I didn't hear who's going to be responsible for cost overruns. All right, we're out of show. You be good, you be safe. I'll talk to you next week. Good night.